Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm here to read you another Easter story. Easter is on its way and we've been reading some great books about what really happened on Easter Day. What happened when they put Jesus in that tomb. And I have another book for you tonight that I know you're going to like. And it's called That Grand Easter Day. That Grand Easter Day. This is another story about what happens when Jesus got up out of that tomb and he conquered death and rose from the grave. And we need to get into this book and learn all about that. Are you ready to get inside this Easter book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. That Grand Easter Day written by Jill Roman Lord illustrated by Alicia Truffio. This is the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. Oh look, that big stone with the garden in front of it. That's the cave where they put Jesus when he died. This is the stone that blocked the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. This is the man, quite grumpy with gloom, who stood with his sword in front of the tomb and guarded the stone that blocked the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. This is the money, the bunny that munched on a bloom next to the man, quite grumpy with gloom, who guarded the stone that blocked the way that led to the play where, place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. Oh, look at the bunny. He's just munching away right there near the tomb. These are the ladies with spice and perfume to pour over Jesus, who lay in the tomb. That strolled past the bunny that munched on a bloom next to the man, quite grumpy with gloom, who guarded the stone that blocked the way that led to the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. This is the angel in radiant light who said, he's not here, there's no need for fright, to the ladies who carried their spice and perfumes. But startled the man who fled with a zoom, leaving the bunny that munched on a bloom alone by the stone that now was rolled away, revealing the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. Oh, see, the stone has been moved. And the soldier ran away. These are the disciples who heard the good news, then raced to the site with no time to lose, but found the tomb empty, just linens as clues. Gone was the angel who sat by the tomb and spoke to the ladies with spice and perfume, but startled the man who fled with a zoom, leaving the bunny that munched on a bloom alone by the stone that was now rolled away, revealing the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. This is Christ Jesus who gives life anew, who rose up on Easter for me and for you. He left the tomb empty, just linens as clues found by disciples who's heard the good news. Gone was the angel who sat by the tomb and spoke to the ladies with spice and perfume, but startled the man who fled with a zoom, leaving the bunny that munched on a bloom alone by the stone that was now rolled away, revealing the place where Jesus first lay before he arose on that grand Easter day. Look, it is Jesus and he's alive. Christ Jesus arose on that grand Easter day. Wow, what a great book. That was amazing. Did you see everything that happened? Oh my goodness. They put Jesus on the cross and then he died and then Joseph took him and put him in that tomb and they rolled that big rock in front of it. And when they went to see him, he was 
was gone. The stone was rolled away. He had rose up from out of the grave, conquered death, and went on to heaven so that one day we could go with him. What an amazing story. I love Easter, and I am so glad we are reading these Easter books together. Now, I know you're going to have a fabulous Easter day. Lots of candy, lots of eggs, lots of egg hunts. So much fun stuff. But while you're celebrating, you remember what Easter's really all about. Out. It's the day that Jesus rose up out of that grave. It's a wonderful day. But that's all we have for today. We have a lot more Easter books coming your way. But for tonight, I need all my little bunnies to hop off into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. Give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses. And tomorrow, when you're decorating eggs or getting ready for Easter, remember one very important thing. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.